people, hi fans, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hi, Wilhelm fans, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And you've already seen Little Mish Mishka. <laughs> You're not amused, are you? No. Just like, I'm going to fall asleep here. <laughs> No, I'm going to pop her back in her cage, but she wanted to see you guys because she hasn't for a while, but that's why she's... Yeah, uh, and she, what she wanted to say, she can say, hi everyone, this chat. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Right guys, so you're not hallucinating. There is now a white Russian hamster on me. You've got to have a white, a white Russian and a black Russian. It's just the way it is. It is. It's a big V. It's big daddy. Ah, I love my fans. <laughs> right, so he wants to join us in Word of the Week because he's yeah. learning words, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, I'm glad it wasn't. Last week it was the F hole. Yes. No, F for the S shaped opening in a violin. Yep. yep. This is. Okay. It is flip, which is the technical ter term for snapping your fingers. Flip. Flip. I think somebody misheard what that was. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's all right. He's fluffy bums mooching around things and picking up drills now and then. Right. Oh. So, this week, my lovelies. Now, I know I'm right. <laughs> Darren, however, thinks I'm not. Yeah. Darren, can you see a victor at your, at your discretion? Yes. Oh, yeah, you are. He's peering at me from underneath the thing. What is it you and your sister got of sitting on the Rennie packet? There it is. Right, so Sherlock. Right. Yep, yeah, right. The, the bit was uh, uh, snowing. Strong winds had driven and snowing to drifts on the side of the pavement, but there was proportionally far greater deposit of snow against the side of the near, nearby telegraph pole than there was the side of a house, which lay some dozen or so yards beyond it. Okay, when you read <coughs> that out originally, I thought you said lamp lamppost, and I heard it as lamppost, so we're going to go with my answer. <laughs> Quite simply, there was more snow around it because it's a non-union lamppost. <laughs> now, they have burrows and things, so you wouldn't get houses in Narnia in the typical sense, and everybody knows that the Narnian Lamps Hub post has snow against it, so therefore that is my answer. <laughs> so we're ignore the fact that it says telegraph pole because evidently I misheard you. Uh, Lolly Woom was going to come back onto it, but she didn't. No, I don't blame you. Well, it's uh, the lamp post thing, yeah, wasn't it? They yeah, didn't know about it, and um, Angela, as far as we know, I think she's in. She's in England at the moment. I'm in Kent somewhere, I Ooh. believe. Hello. Hmm. Over that way somewhere. Hello. <laughs> She's got the weather for it today. Yeah. Um, so well, I think she was in all last week as well. My sister-in-law is probably one of one of the best places for weather. And. Um, uh, Maldives? Maldives like or Seychelles? Or something yeah, something like that. that. Really yeah, they've had tropical weather all the time. tropical storms by sort of week. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hi. Mm. Um, right. Right, so. What, yes. You, so you said. I think, I think it's because um, the, wind, the wind gets. As, as the wind blows it, blows the snow against the side, it gets distorted or gets diverted away from it because of the walls in the way. It's the magic from the lamp post. There we go. Drifts. The answer lay in the passage of the wind. A large flat surface such as the side of the house is going to divert the wind quite considerably. It has to break 
quite some distance before the house in order to fly around it and this prevents a reasonable percentage of the snow from being flung against it. This is not the case with something as small and rounded as a telegraph pole so the pole gets proportionally more snow driven into it. Or a lamp post which is even thinner at the bottom just so. Right so right. my carefully thought out answer was rubbish. Right so we've got the shell I've done for this week the fourth mental trial. Oh hello. I was talking to my hypothetical acquaintance Alfie earlier, Holmes said. I declared that this statement appeared to herald another mental test. Indeed, I inquired as to Alfie's age. He in turn informed me that in six years' time he would be one and a quarter times the age he was four years ago. I suppose you want me to tell you his age. Please do, said Holmes. Right, now then, last week's riddle, I think I have actually got that right. Right. Now, first of all, again I listened to the first bit which said keys. Right, the bit was, but, I have keys but no locks, yeah. I have space but no room, you can enter but you can't come inside, you can't go inside. Uh, what am I? And the answer um, I've got is keyboard. Yep, Originally I had, had piano because I didn't listen to the full the full riddle. Uh, and then I pink, got down to repeat. Pink Poodle got it. Yay. She did. And yeah. yes, Lovey, I completely get when you're not feeling great. Yes, yeah, so she has, hasn't been able to comment on her a lot because she's not been feeling good. No. Which said she, she got, a, got a pussy cat. She has because we had a, she said about it on the back of some cats one. Yeah. <laughs> Which, if you haven't seen it, it was I. I was really blown away. But, but yes, it was a. That later. It was a keyboard. The answer was it. Mm -hmm. All right. One of uh, Why would a man living in London not be buried in England? Oh. But yes. Yep. Right. Which now leads us on to our picture segment it does so last week we had a very cute little dumpling like yep. robo i'll show you show the picture here this was last week's and you said yep. lolly ween came up with something lolly ween had one one of it she said um the caption was i'm sure these prinkle tubes are getting smaller I liked that. Mm. Uh, she said she also thinks the, pi the picture looked like a hamster pest dispenser. <laughs> oh, <that I> love. <laughs> the the only thing um, I could think of was like I thought I was supposed to wear a helmet before you shot me out of this thing. <laughs> um, right, so today's one mm. is this. Oh, no. Apart from being really gorgeous. <laughs> I've actually got one for that for next week, as long as I remember it. So I might write <laughs> it down later. But no, I love the caption ones. It's pretty it's pretty open to what's said. But I think my favourite... Okay, Lolly Wing came up with two. I came out with one. Mm. My favourite is definitely the Pez Dispenser one. Because I just... <laughs> I love that. I really love that. Although with a hamster, from my experience, they are more likely to be putting things in their mouth than taking them out. Hmm. Although, you know, you never know. Right, so Yeah. Lolly Wayne said she would have she thinks she would have guessed the, the my my riddle one though, but she read it in the comments. <laughs> no, I should imagine she would have done. Hmm. If I got it then the likelihood is a lot of people did. Right. Now then, posted this week, people, we are talking Z Box. <laughs> Classic click crate from April. And Bats and Cats. Also, I'm well aware he hasn't 
Darren hasn't posted a wax melt one, but that's partially because we forgot. Yeah. So, uh, and we ran out of time on the day we were going to do that, basically. Cause... Yeah. Loss. Uh, also, but I'd like to, like to know. So, um, with this last week's one, I had to do it in two parts because I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work. Yeah. I, 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 I tried to. Uh, some put, of our ones tend through, to be longer than others. Put it, the editing through um, uh, well, six or seven times, and it wouldn't go through. So I cut it down to two small bits. Which is what, why. What would you prefer? Would you prefer to have one long one or two short ones? Um, I'm talking about the videos. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so it doesn't make much difference. I mean, obviously, if it's under an hour, then Darren tends to do mm. it as one anyway. But, mm. you know... Um, but no, right, next week yep. we have got, these are ones we've videoed, okay, mm. so these ones are definitely videoed ones. Mm. We've got our winnings from Pumpkin Hollow. Oh, yeah. Because we won a competition on that. Yeah, there was a giveaway on Instagram, mm -hmm. a double dip, in, double dip competition. Yeah. Double dip giveaway. Um, From our lovely Jess Pagan, that's mm. And we definitely got wax melt ones that are ready to go. Now, obviously, we don't want to do more than one a week because that's just, you know. Mm. But it's fine. I've got lots of other things yeah. to talk about, which I said I will come back to one of the bits. Um, right, so to film, we've got Classic Crit Click Crates May. Yep. Uh, I know April's was only last week, but... They were late delivering. Yeah, they had, they had some problems getting older some bits. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the last Wizarding World Loot Crate one. Yep. So they finally delivered after months and Ooh. months and months. Um, we say the last one because it depends very much on whether they actually get their yeah. stuff out sooner and catch up with themselves. Yeah. But at we're the still, moment, it's We're still it's waiting for the WWE it. one from... October last year. <laughs> right, we've got Geek, Cre Geek Gear Wizardry one, which uh, at the moment we're thinking is the last one, but I'll confirm that next week. Yeah, we want to... We want to uh, have a look at this one, because they they're taking they're, out money for next time. Yeah, so they'll give you some bits, lots of bits sort of stuff, apparently. Yeah, they've said they'll so send say. a bunch but of we'll, stuff. So we we'll, thought we'd we'll find out what We'll find out what this one's like before we, <laughs> we say whether or not. Because basically they've taken the money for the next one. So mm. if it's not great, then yeah. obviously it will be the last one that we have this yeah. time. Right. And Wisdom, House of Night, Oracle cards. Tarot mm. set. Yeah. So, yeah, huh. you probably recognise it from my House of the Night series that I keep banging on about. Hmm. Um, but, yeah, you we, know, we went on there, we saw we've got, so they've got some uh, Oracle, Oracle cards. cards. I'm also going to show you the House of Night colouring book I got hmm. because um, that was one that I actually had on my basket of wanting and Darren was fairly certain he'd found, got it. I'd already bought it for years ago. <laughs> But um, it was one of those things that got put into a pile of books rather than to my it was, colouring pile. So. It was it, the book was higher, yeah, than your so other it house had of to go down things. lower, didn't so it? So went to a different place. Yeah. Um, we have also found another tarot set, which I'm going to pre-order. Yes. And it comes out in August. Which people, people like a lot of people are our age that, that, yeah. that watch this. So they may remember them. The garbage pal kids. I mean, that's just yeah, too tasty. Because they, they were cards, yeah. which were all the different ones, like Adam Bomb and bits like that. And yeah, they, they've done a tarot set out which, of it, which comes out, which is like, brilliant. gotta have that. <laughs> um, of course, I'm all about House of Night, so whenever something new comes out for House of Night, I tend to get it if I can. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't started colouring it in or bits like that 
Uh, we haven't had any news from Cures and Curses yet, so we take it that he's still waiting on the Egyptian bits, and I still haven't had Japanese. my Japanese bits. Why did I say Egyptian? I don't know. No, neither do I. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're waiting on that still, and obviously I, I'm really hoping that he yeah. sticks to what he said and gives me my egg, because mm. I want my egg. Yeah. Also, um, also we're still... No, no more news on... Uh, crafty phoenix no on what, um, what she's doing i think things have taken she's doing, slightly longer cause she's once, um it's the startup that takes a while yeah so she she set some bits up for her um podcast mm. right now then we also had we we've, we've got a couple of bits coming mm. uh we've ordered a few bits we've got We've got some new boxes coming. New boxes coming, yes. Yeah. Um, I have also got two more bu boxes that should be coming from Gem Boutique. Yep. And I wouldn't. I wanted to mention her. She's sort of under due, sort of under news because the news bit. Is, she sent us a lovely message. Yeah, so she was she was over the moon. <laughs> she couldn't believe that she <laughs> on um, the Instagram bit. She couldn't couldn't believe it. she was really nervous of, <laughs> that, um, of what we were going to say about it. Uh, what amazed me even more. I mean. Uh, we you... say she, we think it's a she, we don't actually know. No, no it's like, it could be a he. We don't know. He, no, he, no. Her, he. Uh, <laughs> it might be a group of people, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I think her name's Gemma, actually, which is possibly why we're leaning towards she. Right. But regardless, um, actually, I've got that on my phone. That's one of the things I meant to yeah. give you a. Oh, an could be a Gemma, for. yes, could, yes. could be Gem Boutique, yeah. yeah. Comes, uh, she comes from. Weymouth in England, or yep. the company is. Um, she's had 4,894 sales and she's five star. Yeah, right. Um, about it, it was established in 2020. Um, yeah. Um, mm. She's was formed by Jem, or otherwise known as Jembo. So that's obviously... Oh, Jembo, take yeah. 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 Uh, you've got... Um, she's got fashion, rainbows, unicorns, mixed with the dark desire of gothicness and horror. Um, and aims to bring the Rainbow Road and the Bridge to Hades together. Now, <laughs> obviously, I mean, I I'm not so much on... Um, sparkly things particularly. Hmm. Um, so what I what we did was we went on there because after we we were really impressed by the bats and cats one, and if you've seen it, you know. Also, um, they actually make a lot of bits themselves. Hmm. So, um, or she does herself. Yeah. I don't know who else is involved. So yeah. it's really difficult to word it right if you know what I mean. Hmm. But I mean, they do some fan blooming tastic stuff. I mean, look at that. Frankenstein and Broad Shelf. All right, yeah. Oh, it's wicked. <laughs> um, but yeah, they they do all different things. Um, they do like coffin pin boards. Um, she makes these really cute. Um like bats zombies all different sorts of things hmm. uh she does her own sign bits hmm. now we haven't got anything for saying this i'm telling you about it because i think i was that i was really impressed i'm impressed with the prices hmm. some of we the like, stuff she buys as, in i like all the different as things I, as you know we like to promote small businesses that's right and no i don't ask for anything in return for the simple reason is and say it's up to a business if they want to send us things, as you know, people mm. have in the past, and you know, uh, we go through it and show people. Yeah. Um, but I also, as being small business owners ourselves, mm. I know how terribly hard it can be. And let's uh, say she, she does good, honestly. Mm. 
I mean, oh, look at that. That is one of my... Actually, he was supposed to have been hearted, or did I... I think I put him in my in my basket, actually. That's why. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you've got, like, Elm Street, Sign, Camp Crystal Lake. So she does. She does from anything horror-y, gothic -y. Hmm. Um Probably, I mean, let's say she also does clothing... But there's hmm. all manner of bits. I mean, there's a real mixed bag, quite literally, yeah. of bits and bobs on there, which I really liked. Hmm. In actual fact, there should say how many. The Hagstones, um, like the the Hagstone with the uh, cat. cat um, she that's makes on, them herself. She makes them herself. Not the Hagstone particularly, you know. Obviously, no, no, the, the that's stone is stone, collected, but, yeah. You know, I mean... But no, I mean, oh, come on. Tell me how many items you sell, woman. There's Mine bags. Oh, my God, there's bags and purses. Mm. I know she's got ornaments and burn and wax burners. And come on. Oh, come on. It's right at the end, isn't it? I've got 320 items, 21 items she's got for sale. Mm. And as I said, we've ordered, uh, we ordered bats and cats, which is how I know. I like the stuff. Yeah, so and Pink we've... Poodle says she could she had trouble finding it. I think yeah. it's it's it's, un, it's under one one bit, isn't it? I believe it. It's mystery box. You go onto it and then you you click from the drop down. Yeah, I mean, if boxes. you look there, mm -hmm. they're twenty eight ninety nine each and three pound postage. Now I found out because we ordered. Yeah, so we the, ordered creepy crypt. And if you go to the description, it tells you what sort of things you'd be expected in them. But this mm. is like skulls and bits like that. Yeah, and That's Coven's it. Curse, which is obviously more witchy. Yeah. Now, we ordered these two, mm. Coven's Curse and Creepy Crypt, because they were the other two that appealed. Yeah. And we still only paid one lot of £3 postage. Yeah. And Majestic AF one is, is unicorns, unicorns fairies and sparkly. And sparkles. Yeah. Fairies, actually, no, unicorns and sparkly unicorns, things, uh, rainbows, rainbows and so on. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's got she's got a good old whack of stuff on there. And as I said, I'm promoting her because I like the stock. I mean, I didn't need to use customer service. Um, I say the only downside is that it can take longer for bits to get, or it, it takes the length of time she gives herself to send it out which is sensible yeah. um but she's obviously quite approachable because you know yeah she's quite chatty and friendly and you know it's <laughs> it is what it is so that's right yeah so that's why i'm i'm saying to you about that now then yeah. that's only that's only a couple of items that yeah. you know about now that are you yeah. um now then, which box with giveaway signed in the new segment? Which box giveaway is still going, and it's going on until the fourteenth of June. That's the one that's in um, Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram but it's and... on conjunct in conjunction with gorgeous Crystal Company. I can't look because it's on my phone. I can probably, <laughs> I can probably find that. If I go on to here, it's nice to see oh, that you can yeah, see right. how organised we very much are. That's right. You wouldn't expect anything else, would you? Uh, also, on a personal note, I know witchcraft have been having problems with people duplicating their like witch casket. That's what I meant. That's not which box, obviously. Which no. box is the one with the you know, giveaway that's going on with... Oh, for heaven's sake. It would help if I put in a search, really, wouldn't it? I'm useless on, Inst on Instagram. I don't no. know. There it is. It's which box. Mel Melvin Crystals. That's the that's one. It. Uh, I've just clicked on the video a bit. It hasn't come up well yet. Done. No, it hasn't come up yet. <laughs> Melvin yeah. Crystals. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I didn't actually so... sound a video either, but there you go. <laughs> but yeah, Melvin Crystals. Yeah, so that's in conjunction with them. And, and that was the, the postage. That was a bitch you could have got. 
yeah, bits you could get, yeah. providing it's before the 14th of June this year still. Yeah. Um, as I said, witchcraft, they've had problems Witch with... Witch casket. Yeah, I keep saying craft, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Witch casket have had problems with... Um, people go, people, people mimicking their site and basically... Um, oh, only on Instagram. On Yeah, this yeah. is purely on Instagram. Mm. Um, and they're basically turning around and saying, and if you so, don't give us so-and-so amount you don't, of money, you don't give us money uh, we'll, your company your will company suffer will fall, and this will fail. and the other. And needless to say, it has hit them really hard. <laughs> Um, it's, because it's upset Ella a lot. It's, it's really yeah. upset Ella. And, you know, um, honestly, people, the only thing I can think to do is I'm going to light a white candle for them tonight and mm. just send hopes that karma bites the hell out of the little so-and-sos that's doing that are doing this. This mm. is their company. Why should they have to pay money? Um, and of course, if you pay, if you if you pay, pay money, money they're never going to stop, yeah. are they? <laughs> Even though he said in the thing, "Okay, I won't, I won't try this again." Yeah. Like, really? Am I that stupid? No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, Deb Snella, if you're watching this, we wholeheartedly support you. Mm. So sorry you're going through this. It's hard enough for small mm. businesses as it is. Mm. Diamond painting. Now, I haven't been reading as much this week. In fact, I've barely picked up my book. Not because I'm not into it, but because I still need to get new glasses and I will give myself headaches if I keep going. And... Okay, so you've got the leggy part and then you've got that part. I'm afraid mm. if you want to see it all out in one go, it's going to be once I've done the whole thing. Mm. Um, I have started working on this section, but not too much yet. Mm. But yeah, I've had quite... A busy week diamond painting this week, which has been hmm. fabulously fun. <laughs> I've been too spotty to do other things. <laughs> yeah, reading, as I said, I haven't done a lot this week. I've been, I'm still on the book revealed. Um, mainly, I've, as I said, you know, if I, if I read too much in a row, it does give me headaches. Right, watched wise, as I said, I've done a lot of diamond painting, so I've been, I've had the TV on in the background pretty much constantly. Yeah. Um, now on Sunday, I decided I was going to watch. Why didn't they ask Evans after weeks of telling you? Yeah, the new new mm. version. Mm. Now, actually, I prefer. The Miss Marple version only because the story is better. Mm. In fact, the story on this was relatively weak. But that being said, it was I so relatively still... weak. It was still three parts, wasn't it? I know. So it was like three hours long. <laughs> but it didn't feel too long to me. I mm. think it was because, to be perfectly honest, if they decided to do uh, a new ones of Tommy and Tuppence, which is Agatha Christie, which, to be mm. perfectly honest, could do with being redone properly yeah um they've found their two actors for it because uh the main girl in it and the main guy in it the young mm. man and the young lady the um, young man and the young lady they would make a fantastic tommy and tuppence mm. it was actually because of them that it kept me watching mm. so yeah. we couldn't do much this year and next year you know because he's he's building his body up and it's, yeah, and he, he's going to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy three. Oh, is he? He's Adam Warlock. Hmm. At the end of the second Guardians of the Galaxy, I know there was people in gold, and there was a big thing that was going to open up. Because he, he played, he's what was inside. He played. He played Eustace. He in, did in Chronicles in, of Narnia. Yeah, the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. That's right. And he also played. Can't remember his name in the Maze Runner trilogy. Oh yeah, one of the stroppier ones. Yeah, but he he's a very good actor actually because mm. again it was a completely different part. He's got amazing and eyebrows. It, it was. I mean, he's one of these. Um, my my youngest nephew actually, his eyebrows used to fascinate me because they'd disappear mm. all into his hairline if he got surprised <laughs> about something. Um, 
still do actually to be fair <laughs> um but no it's um they're really good they mm. were really good mm. so yeah um just saying if anybody works for itv or bbc or mm. it's itv really isn't it because i think they're the ones with the ones agatha with it, christie yeah. but yeah you've found your tommy and tuppence they are fabulous mm. um now then oh yes because i got on to why didn't they ask evans yeah i thought i'll have a look and see what ones i may or may not have seen on britbox so i've had Drama a bit of a ones, yeah i've had a bit of a time on britbox this week basically mm. and i found touch of evil which has got robson green in it and mm. i am i i do like him I've, we have I've actually liked got it over him there from when he was <laughs> yeah, uh, the yeah. porter in casualty yeah so we have actually got it in over there mm. um but it was on britbox and although we've got it over there i thought you know why not? I'll watch it. I've not seen I've not seen all of them. Now, that was blooming good actually. I'd mm. recommend that. That that still held up now. Mm. Um and you you do get to know and like the characters. Um it's also got that one Is it Unforgotten? Yes, the woman yeah. from Unforgotten. Um again I love that as well, but I I didn't watch I'm Forgotten. I've watched it at some point this year. The yeah, because you caught up year. to the fourth one, didn't you? That's right. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I managed to watch all the Touch of Evil ones because unfortunately there's only two series, mm. I believe. Yeah. Don't. I may be lying. There, there might be so. more than that, but there aren't that there many in the be. series, yeah. if you know what I mean. Um, and then I started watching Vincent, which is... Uh, private detective Ray right, Winston. Mm. Mm. And that's good as well. He's very gravelly, bless him, but he's mm. a really good actor and yeah. that was good. Mm. Um I've only I've only watched part of the way through. I think I'm on the second series. Yeah, there's only two series of that. Yeah, there's only two series of that. But they're heavier, although they're really yeah. good. They're not as mm. easy watch in some respects. I mean well, you, you usually because does the, I wasn't familiar with people, them, so People, um, always he was saying what he did. He did a kids one because he, he did a one well, he did a voice for an animated thing mm. with some pigeons or something like that, All right? But yeah, he, he was saying it's good because many his kids can actually watch something he did because most of the yeah, stuff he, he did, did is pretty. He did Sweeney Todd, didn't he? Did, he? Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's very good in Sweeney Todd, yes, yeah. he was. So was Johnny Depp, though. I mean, but they're completely different films, and you can, yeah, take one, of them's them. musical, yeah, yeah. one of them's a musical, yeah, <laughs> which, which was a shock when we saw it. Yeah, because it, it was, cause it, yeah. cause the trailer didn't actually have any music in it at all. But it is, and I say, <laughs> it is more sort of he's more of a gritty actor. Yeah, whether it be more gothicy or mm -hmm. you know, but he's blooming good. Mm. Um, and they have been good actually. Mm. Um, I've also started watching last year's Love Island. Please do not judge me. Um. Again, it's something that's easy on in the background, yeah. and have I haven't much about seen it. last year's. I'd only yeah. watched a couple of look, episodes. Still a there at the moment. Look, there yeah. it is. Look, look, look. <laughs> but you see, I mean, in one of the series, I had quite a shock because the little boy I used to nanny for, Marino, Marino, right. yeah, yeah. Um, he he was in, it. He was in uh, Castle Moor on one of the ones. Why'd you, why'd you use Nanny for another one? One of the ones that was on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, they won Calabro. Yeah. 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 So I'm just saying, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I nanny for you, you end up on TV. Just yeah. saying. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. 20 odd years later. <laughs> That's right. um, I've, we've also watched Some Sanctuary because. Um, mm. uh, Darren's been editing more, so I mean, I've been trying to edit more. I've been also trying, been, I've been going through um, been photos going through as well, and um, stock bits. He's got in a tub yeah. thing in front of him, so he has been be, busy. There's, I'm going to be a reopening an eBay shop again. Right now, then, the let's talk section. Mm. Now then, I've got some. I've got a couple of bits for you because I know. Technically, I've been talking to you anyway. Yes, um, let's talk. But we yeah. haven't been talking for the last 
Well, I thought we were been busy. I, <laughs> I thought, oh, I wonder what, I wonder what weird news has been on this week. And do you remember? Is it was the last week or the week before? It was uh, the world's most vampires in one place record got broken. Twenty sixth of May. That's that right. Because that was the, Dra- that was World Dracula Day. Yeah. Um, so it was most vampires at Whitby Ad- Abbey, basically. That's right. It was, um, it was 125 years since... Mm. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, that's written. right. Do you know why it was Whitby Abbey? Was that where it was taken? That, that's where, you know, you know where he came across? He came across and he stayed in a place that was Whitby Abbey. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, 1,000... That's why they have the Whitby Goth weekend there. 1,369 vampires... Hey. So I'm guessing there were a few holes in next that weekend. Yeah. Um also though, not to be out well, they were outdone on numbers, but I still right. think it's pretty impressive this. <laughs> uh Plymouth Lido this week. <laughs> Cause you've got all I I mean I I read bits about like Queen Scarecrows have been popping up and mm. of course the post box knitted ones which are yeah. fabulous. And I thought, well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off of here. And I saw it was the most merfolk. So this is mermaids and <laughs> all right, yeah. In one place, Guinness Book of Records job again, I believe. Yeah. And it was three hundred and eighty-eight mer people. I think that's right. It mm. may be sixty-eight. I might have written that wrong actually. <laughs> Who knows? But it was three hundred and either sixty-eight or eighty-six, or it could be three hundred and eighty-eight. Yeah. So if you want to check your just, facts, just under four hundred people. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, at Plymouth Lido turned out not to be outdone by the vampires. Obviously, the mermaids wanted to go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure well, I didn't look up about zombies because, to be perfectly honest, um, they frightened me. Um, Zombie, they they do. Uh, walking bright, they, they do, a, do a, a zombie walk through bright. That's right, as well as other different it, towns. I mean, it's pretty fantastic when mm. when you get them, and they do stay in part, which is yeah. brilliant. Mm. Um, but I typed in like most werewolves. Now, I'm not saying that we should all get dressed up in a hairy suit, okay? Um, but nobody's done it. No, nobody's done it. So technically, me and you could sit here. Mm. Dressed like werewolves, and we would win the Guinness World Book of Record, possibly. I don't know because I haven't checked my my facts. (laughs) 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 And say, I don't know whether they've done the world. So many things going on at the the moment. People um, are checking the facts. Yeah, most fairies in one place, but I think Brighton's got. Yeah. (laughs) No. (laughs) No. Um, But no, I don't know whether they've done a mythical dude. Do dad or what? But yeah. I'm not sure how it would work with unicorns either. Hmm. Unicorn is the um, animal for Scotland. Is it? I thought yeah. that would be Nessie. The na- natural <laughs> national animal for Scotland is the unicorn. England is a lion. Well, I love lions. I do. I love mm. big cats and small cats and mm. any size cats. I'm, I don't even mind whether they've got fur on there, or not. I know there were lions here at some point, because of the particular sort of lions here, but I'm not sure about the unicorns in Scotland, no. Why not? The Irish have got um, leprechauns. leprechauns, which yeah. I just think is Scottish have got haggis. I know. I've got a fluffy Scottish No, we got, he went. He hat. went. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, that's depressing. The spider probably ate him. He used to be on top of our old TV that was about three, three foot, about <laughs> three oh, or four feet right. deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I have still got a kilt around a bottle of mead. We oh, have. Yeah. I'm not going to get that out and show so you because, for one thing, it's dusty and it's behind the TV and hmm. it might be pipers. No, there won't be pipers there. No, no, I, I shouldn't. No. Just the thought. Oh. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, so have you ever have any of you ever dressed up as anything for anything other than like I, I did a gypsy once for a um 
I dressed up as um and I'm talking like um hmm. a gypsy as in look into my crystal uh, yeah, ball. Yeah, so like Madame um, Rosalie sort of. That was it, sort of, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um that was for one of those murder uh, mystery ones. Yeah, I love those murder mystery ones. They were blooming mm. good actually. And say so, we we hosted a couple and I did a couple with my partners, my late no, partner's like, dress, family. Dressed up as dressed up for a, a New Year's Eve party? Yeah. I dressed up as Jason. Oh that's right, you did. Jason didn't you? All these, yeah. I mean, admittedly, it isn't unusual to see me dressed up as a witch or with lots of black oh, lace so and steampunk as I can get. Because corsets and whatnot look lovely, but if it's a real deal one, I'd, mm. I'd be in excruciating <laughs> pain. I can't even wear back backup bras that do up at the back sort of jobby. Mm. But <laughs> thankfully, more, mm. there's more awareness of bits now and you yeah. can get front fastening things that are very soft and... Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things. I love, I love getting dressed up. I do. Mm. Of course, we had a medieval wedding, so I suppose that mm. was the obvious thing. That's right. But yeah, no. So tell us uh, any of your stories. Mm. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever dressed up for a world record, or any of you guys actually done a world record? Let me know. Mm. Me, myself, and I would like to know, mm. as I say. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, as Rita Skeeter it's says. This, yeah, that's right. Cool. All you'll be getting is vague references to Harry Potter if I don't find something Harry Potterish to yeah. mysteries of the boxing variety. Yeah. Loot crate takes too long and geek gear's not. Yeah. So, again, if any of you guys know, and if any of you know of any... Um, New ones, Bristol and the UK. Yes, because um, American ones cost so much money to get them. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's the postage <laughs> that usually really, you know, um, they might be like fifty, sixty dollars, but then you might you might be paying another thirty or forty dollars to get them sent here. And that's a bit rich <laughs> so, for our blood because yeah. obviously we try and give you a variety. Um, I keep looking at different five pound mystery ones and things like that, but. <sighs> I'm reluctant to push myself mm. forward on it. Um, I was really lucky with finding Gem Boutique because yeah. it was just I typed in mystery boxes and actually it came up near the top, which is fantastic. Mm. Um, but because I don't quite know what sort of things I'm looking for in particular. Anyway, guys, stay safe. Be happy. Have a lovely, glorious weekend. Yeah. And be different. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.